Hello, it's the StyleCon coming at you today with another video. Today, we're going to be looking at the Divine Viewer VR headset. I just got this in the mail uh, maybe a couple days ago, so I've been trying it out. And so far, I'm pretty impressed. Now, if you go to their website, which I will leave a link in the description down below, it typically sells for $99.99, but they actually have it on sale for $64.95, and they're also offering free shipping. Now, let's open it up and check it out. Now, it's basic packaging. I mean, it's nothing really elaborate. But I don't really care about the packaging so much. What I care about is what is inside of the packaging. Then you have a nice little inner sleeve. Uh, you have the instruction booklet. Pretty simple. You know, there's some apps you can download. Uh, microfiber, cleaning cloth, you know, gives you the diagrams on how to actually work the unit itself. But it's fairly simple. Now, let's check out the VR headset itself. Now, I do like this headset. I've been using it for about a week. And, I mean, it does get some smudges, but they can easily be wiped off. But, uh, it's pretty nice. You have, like, a head strap right there. And then you have some adjustments that you can make to it. Like this on the side, you can adjust the depth. If you think things are a little too close, you know, you can stretch it out a little bit. Uh, this particular adjustment at the top, let me move the straps out of the way so you can see this. But you can adjust the length of the pupils. So if you know you have a larger head, smaller head, your eyes aren't as close or further away, you can adjust it like that. And then what's nice about this one, you can adjust these individually. And I tried this with glasses on. It doesn't work very well and it's not comfortable. But if you have some eye issues, you can rotate these around. And then they'll magnify that for you, which I think is pretty cool since you can't really... I mean, you can try it with glasses. I personally wouldn't do it. I tried it. It was very uncomfortable. But you can adjust these, and then that'll help compensate for that. But it's a decent unit. Uh, you open up here. Uh, obviously, you have a tray. And with this particular unit, it is flexible. It sort of reminds me of like a little selfie stick. You can use uh, Android or iOS. They say it goes up to a 5.5 inch display that you can put in here. And what's nice is it has these little clips on the ends here that uh, that'll hold your phone in place. Now, I did try it with a case that I do have on my phone. I had to take the case off. Uh... Then it fit in there real nice, but with the case on, it w didn't work out that well. And then this is like magnetized. And what I really like about this particular one is the fact that the faceplate comes off. You say, hey, StyleCon, why do you care if the faceplate comes off? I will tell you this from using this. Your phone will get hot. Because it's inside this particular case. And if it doesn't have any ventilation, it can overheat. So my phone did get hot. I took this off. It helped keep it cool. And especially if you're going to be watching a movie or playing some video games for a while. It's a nice added feature. And then it's magnetized once again. Now just right there, then the magnets click into place, and then you can take that off. I think that's nice. I think they should all come like this. Because if you watch any videos on VR headsets, a lot of times people will tell you they have a tendency to overheat the phone. And this particular one, you can at least open that up, and then that'll help keep it ventilated if you plan on using it for any extended period of time. But it does have some nice features, you know, nice little padding. I've worn this for maybe about an hour. Now, I have to be quite honest, it's not that heavy, 
but it is a little different. You got to get used to it. I mean, it's not like a pair of headphones. You pop it on, you're good to go, even though, uh, you know, it might take you some time to get used to that. But this is a little bit different because now you're front heavy. You know, you have this over your eyes and your nose, but very nice unit, especially at the price for $64.95. You know, and then it's compatible with iOS and then Android. Then if you have, you know, a Samsung phone, an HTC phone, you can use it. And I really do like that. Now, the only problem I did have with this particular unit is the fact that, you know, it actually has nothing to do with the unit itself. There are some limitations with it i mean obviously there's not a lot of vr content out there but i got everything that i could now i'm getting a little older I hate to say it style con's getting old but needless to say i was uh watching an airplane game now you move the plane by moving your head up down left right i think i should have taken some drama meme before i played that game because i did get a little sick because it was very realistic you know and, and and that's the nice thing about the VR sets. I mean, I can look up, down, left, right. I mean, you get all kinds of views, 360 degrees, and that's great. And I, you know, I was watching like the Jurassic Park game uh, or or the promo, however you want to consider it to be, and that was fairly easy. But that airplane game, I have to be honest, you know, it did make me a little nauseous. It's like, man, I need to take Dramamine just to use this. But then the other part of me said, you know what? That's pretty cool. That my mind can be tricked into thinking that I'm actually flying a plane and I'm in motion. So if you want to, you know, check out the unit, uh, go to their website. Once again, like I said, I will leave the link in the description down below if you want to check it out. And for the price, I don't think you can beat it, you know, especially since you can use it with multiple phones. It's not like, say, another set out there that's a little bit more than this, but you can only use one phone with it. This one, you can use multiple phones, you know. Uh, you obviously, you have your Apple iPhones. You have the Samsung phones like that I personally like. And uh, that makes it a lot nicer. So if you do have, you know, people in the house that have different types of phones, say you have a, an and, or a Samsung S6, you can use it with it. You have a Samsung S5, you can use it with it. You have an... Uh, Apple uh, 6 or 6S or 6 Plus, you know, you can use it with that as long as it's not more than 5.5 and you're good to go. Once again, this is StyleCon. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below as usual. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will check you out in the next video.